everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we're talking how to wear brown ankle boots. I hope you've all had a lovely week so far. Here in Sydney, things are starting to ease up a little bit more and people are getting out and about. So I wanted to do a video on the brown ankle boot because it's a shoe that we're all kind of walking around town in. It's super comfortable and it's a color that I think is a little bit harder to style than black, which is why I wanted to focus primarily on the brown boot in this video. I will also be talking a little bit about black and about printed boots as well, but this video is primarily going to be about choosing colors for the brown ankle boot, how to style it and shapes you should look out for. So when you're buying an ankle boot, you have a lot of different shapes to choose from and sometimes that kind of where do you start feeling can be a little bit overwhelming. You've got Chelsea boots, combat boots, chukka or desert boots, cutout boots, sock boots, and even cowboy boots, as well as ankle boot, the word is a bit of a blanket term for any boot that's kind of in between that or a mixture of those types of boots. Plus you have choices on what toe shape you want to go for and you also have something that a lot of people struggle with and that's heel height and it's what heel height is going to be best for you and what's going to be easy for you to maintain and wear in your wardrobe. So when you're choosing ankle boots you have a choice between a flat boot or a heeled boot and there's reasons outside of comfort as to why you might choose a flat boot over a heeled boot. So I have heeled boots in my wardrobe and I personally for me find that heeled boots are the most flattering for my figure and for you you might find that to be different. So I wanted to talk about some of the things that might make a flat boot more flattering for you or a heeled boot more flattering for you. So I find a flat boot to be super comfortable, they're very easy to wear, but I think one thing that people struggle with with flat boots particularly is that flat boots can sometimes cut off the wearer around the ankle. So if you are slimmer in the ankle, these are great boots. If you feel like you've got slightly wider ankles or you feel like you're thicker in the calf area, then I find a little bit of a heel on the boot does help to make a little bit more of a flattering shape throughout your leg. It also gives you a few more options as to how you can wear it with different things apart from pants. So let's get into our first look. So our looks today are going to be a mixture of brown boots and I've thrown in a few black boots and printed boot looks. It's mainly though about the brown. So we're going to start there. So for this first look, I've got my brown ankle boots on with a pair of blue high rise cropped leg jeans. I've got a white t-shirt on with a red floral scarf, a trench coat, and I've matched in that scarf with my bag. For my next look, I went for a bit more of a muted, more casual look. I wore a lighter pair of slim straight cropped jeans that I cuffed up above my ankle boot. I then tucked in a really soft silky green blouse and then I put on kind of like a greeny brown jacket or coat. It's kind of a bit of a mixture between. It's actually got a zip off section that you can turn it into either a coat or a bit more of like a cropped blazer. And then I threw on a matching belt to match my ankle boots and a bag that was still in kind of those brown tones but it didn't match too perfectly. I didn't want this outfit to look too matchy matchy when there was already so much kind of browns and green tones going on. So if you've been watching this channel for a while now, you'll notice that I'm a big fan of tucking in things. And I understand that for some people that can be a little bit um, nerve wracking. I find that sometimes if we go from not tucking to starting to tuck, we actually feel a bit like our stomach's on display. So for this particular look, I kept that in mind for those of you who don't like to tuck. I've got on a midi skirt. I've put on a fitted black knitted jumper. Uh, and this is quite a thin knit and I've actually just pulled it down so it ends just on my hip line and then I've belted it at my high waist. And instead of this actually making me look really long in the upper part of my body and short in the lower half of my body, by putting that belt on my high waist and then throwing that scarf over the top, I'm able to bring the attention back up my body as opposed to the widest part of my body, which for me is my hips. So for you, if you struggle with tucking and you still wanna do the midi skirt and you wanna throw on a pair of ankle boots or any other type of shoe, try doing that trick. Just make sure the top is fitted and put a belt on your high waist, not your low waist.
So for this next look, I went for something that was a little bit more edgy and a little bit more casual. I went with a lighter pair of denim jeans that are high-waisted. I put on a striped black and white t-shirt and then my black leather jacket's got a little bit of detail on the elbows. And then I put on my pointed toe sock boots. So the sock boots are the ones that have either a bit of elastic going through, majority of the boots go up to the ankle and they create a really slim kind of profile around your ankle. For me, I'm pear-shaped and my calves and ankles are relatively thick, so I mainly wear these types of boots with pants that are going to cover the ankle, but I do find them to be a really flattering boot when they're paired with cropped pants. So for this next look, I wanted to show off a look that won't cut your figure off if you do want to go for a lower heeled or a flat boot and you also feel like you're in that kind of thicker calf or thicker ankle category. So I went ahead and wore a dark red silky midi skirt that's high waisted. I put on my black long sleeve knit, tucked it in, I wrapped a belt around it and then I matched in a black and dark red printed scarf. Now on the bottom half of my body, I put on a black opaque tight with my lower black Chelsea boots. And because I've got this tight on and the same color as my boot, it helped to create a bit more of a long silhouette through my body rather than kind of cutting me off at the ankle. So this helped just to give me a little bit more of a flattering taller silhouette with these types of clothes and this particular shape of boot. And if you want to do that flutter boot, I recommend just put on a tight with it. Or if it's with a cropped pant, perhaps you could even do a sock that's higher that you don't see where it ends underneath your pant just to create a little bit of a longer line in that area. So for this last look, I wore a python print high heeled pointed toe ankle boot. And this is a really dark python print, so it's a bit of a red with a bit of black through it. Um, so it's not too hard to match, but I wanted to kind of accentuate the pink and red tones in it. So I paired it with a soft pink knit just to bring those colors out. A really simple pair of high-waisted jeans. And instead of cuffing these jeans this time, I actually just lowered that kind of cuff, let them go full length over the boot. And I just matched it with this lightweight cream colored coat. So when it comes to matching the brown in your ankle boots to other pieces of your wardrobe, I think the main thing to remember is that brown is a neutral, so there's not really anything that's going to look terrible with it. And I think sometimes just because it's a bit of a new color or perhaps we've always gone for the black boot, it can kind of throw us a little bit. So when it comes to colors, let's just think neutrals as a base is a really great place to start. So a neutral could be gray, black, beige, or it could even be denim but don't be afraid to use those neutrals as a base and then add in a pop of color with that just to really kind of make your outfit shine. So when it comes to a pop of color, I've put together a few little color schemes here just to give you guys some ideas. We've got a really kind of deep autumnal color set, really soft beige and pink color set, a color scheme with a bit more blue in it. So we've got a dark blue and a lighter blue mixed with the browns and neutral tones. And then lastly, I put together a brown, gray and green color scheme. So when you are trying to match in your boots, don't get too hung up on it. Add a pop of color, wear some neutrals and it'll go together well. Now, when you're trying to work out what to do with the bottom of your jeans or the bottom of your pants with your ankle boot, I think there's two areas we need to look at and consider. So we're going to talk first about skinny jeans. So if you have a skinny jean on and you want to wear it with an ankle boot, what I'd recommend you do is you either cuff it about a centimeter above the ankle boot just to show off a little bit of ankle and break up your leg line, or you tuck it in completely to the boot. And I find often you need to tuck it in quite low and maybe even put our sock a little bit over it in the boot so you can't see the sock and it'll just keep that that jean in place. I don't recommend trying to pull that skinny jean over the ankle of the boot because I don't find it stays very well and it just moves throughout the day and it can get a little bit annoying. It can also look a little bit clunky in that area. Alternatively, so if you have the other style of jeans, say it's a slim straight or a regular fit through the leg, what I recommend you do is either cuff that jean up again to get a little bit of a gap between the boot and the jean, or you can leave the jean open and loose over the top of the ankle boot. I don't recommend trying to tuck in this type of jean because it's going to look really stuffy and you'll get a lot of crunkled fabric happening around your ankle uh, and it won't probably feel very comfortable. So 
In short, the skinny jean, you either want to cuff it up or tuck it in. If it's a looser fit jean around the ankle, you want to cuff it up or wear it over the boot. When you're looking for your dream pair of boots, what you mainly want to look out for is something that is made out of leather, not a synthetic material, unless you are vegan or you're wanting to go for a non-animal use product. I find that leather boots are the best quality boots out there. Another thing you want to look out for when you're looking for your dream boots is just a nice thick sole. That's going to keep your feet nice and warm when you're wearing them out and about. You really don't want to go for those super thin soled boots. They're really not going to do much for you. And what you'll probably find is that that area where the boot starts to turn into a heel, that area can often crack quite easily. So don't look for shoe soles about as thin as say a ballet flat. You wanna go for something that's around about half a centimeter thick to a centimeter thick. If you want to learn more about building up a sense of style, building a really great wardrobe that works for you and maintaining that, I've got a sample which is 20 pages from my ebook which I'm going to leave a link to in the description down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday for another one.